Hello, dear friends. Welcome. It is February 2023. My name is Jess. I am a leader here at Wilman Earth Collective. I'm going to bring Annie on and I'm going to go ahead and read her wheel and suggest the very best oil that she needs right now to either help her feel more supported or feel better or to alleviate some symptoms of feeling kind of crappy. So I'm going to bring Annie on. I'm going to grab my pen. It's been requiring twice lately. Come on, Annie. Hello. Yeah. Oh, hello, my love. Oh, hello. Okay, so you know how it goes, but I'm going to tell everyone else that I'm going to ask this or that questions. Would you rather feel this? Would you rather feel that? And you can always say skip. Like, you're like, I don't know how to compare those two. So you can always skip any question whenever you feel comfortable or uncomfortable enough to do so. So my first question for you is, would you, do you feel, what do you say? <laughs> would you say that you feel more of a scarcity, more of an abundance today? I'm feeling more scarcity scarcity today. All right. So that means that I'm going to focus on alleviating some negative emotions instead of amplifying the positive emotions. We're going to get you more into a homeostasis balance by distilling down exactly what oil you need for today. So I'm going to ask you some emotional questions that are like less than favorable emotions. And you just tell me which one rep represents uh, the kind of emotion that you're feeling right now or the kind of emotion that you want to alleviate. So we're going to start with purposelessness or anger. Which one are you feeling more right now? Purposelessness, for sure. Thank you for answering. So what would you want to alleviate more? Do you feel like you're feeling unsafe or do you feel more confused? Hmm. Confused. Confused. Okay. Now, between feeling the fear or feeling wounded, which one more is, more accurately expresses how you feel? Wounded. Thank you. Now, between feeling confusion or constricted? Confusion. How about the feelings of sadness or numb? Which one do you feel more represents your frequency at the moment? Sadness. Right. How about the feelings between purposelessness and overwhelm? Overwhelmed. All right, now the feelings of control or the feelings of sadness? Control. Okay, just a few more. So we're gonna go with, do you feel wounded or do you feel insecure right now? Insecure. And then do you feel overwhelmed or confused? Hmm. Confused. Thank you for thinking and feeling into that. So between feeling like you need more control or less control or insecurity, which one resonates more? Insecurity. Get okay. control like an addiction. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Valid. All right. To get really clear, which one resonates with how you feel right now? Confused or insecure? Insecure. Okay. Thank you for answering that so honestly and authentically. So insecure was the core feeling that you're feeling in right now. So let's kind of take that core group of insecure feelings and get really precise. I'm going to ask you again. So are you feeling currently, just for now, shy or guilty? Guilty? Shy? Mm, hold on, let me... I'm going to go with that. This I think this is probably the first time I'm going to go with a skip. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> more powerless or more self-critical? Self-critical. Thank you. 
Now, do you have body judgment or lack of confidence? Lack of confidence. Thank you. Under the insecurity category, self-comparison or worthlessness? Self-comparison. And back into the body. Body shame or lack of confidence? Lack of confidence. Thank you. So we're going to go back up to shy. Are you feeling shy or self-critical? Self-critical. And are, do you have self-comparison currently or self-judgment? Hmm. Self-judgment. Thank you. Let's see. Are you feeling guilty or lack of confidence? Lack of confidence. How about between the feelings of feeling self-critical and self-judgmental? Mm -hmm. Judgmental. They're close. I was, yeah. I was feeling, yeah. Okay. And between self-judgmental and lack of confidence, which one resonates with how you're feeling more right now? Lack of confidence. Thank you, Annie. But dumb, dumb, dumb. So lack of confidence on the wheel comes up with the oil passion. And we just talked about this oil during sex magic because it's supposed to bring things back to life that lack that essence. So I'm going to read, I'm going to open it up, figure out what oils are in passion because that's the first question. <laughs> OP, passion, finding your passion, ingredients, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove, sandalwood, jasmine, vanilla, domin dominia, oh, Isaac just told me how to say this word, dominana, dominia, Domin dominia, <laughs> Serena is yelling it out right now, I bet, in the car, and laurel <laughs> leaf. All right, this formula uh, was blended to assist individuals who are lacking inner passion. It's helpful for these people caught in patterns of self-denial or self-regimentation. Overworking and being too serious can dull one's sensitivity and emotions. When individuals are burdened by a joyless sense of duty, passion encourages them to be more playful and spontaneous. It teaches that there are more, excuse me, it teaches that there is more to living than working and obligation. When appropriate, passion encourages individuals to take risks, to confidently face their fears, and to break free from the limitations they place on themselves. It challenges individuals to use their creativity and imagination to fulfill their life's true desires. In short, when life has become a dull set of routines and obligations, passion acts as a reminder to rediscover one's inner passion. So the negative emotions that people that could use passion probably feel are self-denial, regimented, duty-bound, serious, dull, joyless, and dispassionate. The positive properties that you could find after using passion essential oil is obviously passionate, <laughs> risk-taking, vitality, inspired, alive, playful, spontaneous, and creative. It says, aromatic use, inhale from the bottle or diffuse, or topical, carrier oil, apply over entire stomach, solar plexus, interesting, on wrists or behind ears. Interesting. That, that is really interesting, because I have been working up the chakras recently and have been feeling that necessity to work with my solar plexus recently. So that all just very, very much resonates. And I thought it was funny. Um, just the other day, I was making a video on confidence. And as I did like a couple of takes, I got less and less confident in what I was saying, not because I didn't believe in like what I was talking about, but just got less confident in myself in saying it. 
And I ended up doing a final take yesterday morning where I like literally admitted that and was glad that I waited because I was like, I can't believe I'm doing a video on confidence as I get slowly less confident in myself. <laughs> I, I, I think that's wonderful though, that you are able to turn on the observer and, <laughs> and just understand that it's all a human experience. So Totally. That was what I said, too, is like, I want to get human here for a minute, because we can all get caught up in those moments where especially online, we have to feel like something other than just being human. And that's why I love doing this, too, because I love getting to sit and just feel into my emotions. And that's how you become an observer is just by sitting there and, you know, feeling into yourself for a moment. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> less scary every time you do it you know everything takes practice so if it starts as something that feels scary at first it, it becomes less and less scary every time you do it yeah. and i i tell well, i tell myself this too i was gonna say i tell my kids this that if you want something you just have to keep the momentum rolling so imagine like all the force it takes to push a ball when it's holding still is harder than the momentum it ta would take to push a ball that's already moving. Like it barely takes any effort to push a ball that's already moving. So I say, just keep going in the direction that you want, regardless of how many setbacks or times you fall down or failed. Because if you keep that momentum going, then it will continue and continue and continue on. It's when we change direction that are decided that we don't want something and then we put it back down, that momentum goes to zero kind of like my garden or, or working out or something. Like if I haven't worked out in like months or weeks, then it's always harder to get back to the gym. Or if I don't even know like what my compost pile is doing, instead of just going out there and shoveling for a little while, <laughs> you know, then it's, it makes a lot of difference when we just step in to one action piece instead of the overwhelming, all the things you know like how do you eat an elephant like one bite at a time it's like one of those ter terrible sayings but but yeah I, I really resonate with that totally i think you and i both have like a big picture mentality and like mm -hmm. long game I really want to make a difference in the world and so i really i resonate uh on the path totally my dad used to say that you know the way to make something a habit is to do it habitually. And, you know, I always like to remind people too that, it, and it's one of my favorite quotes and I wish I like memorized the quote itself, but it's basically there, there is no failure if you just keep going, you know, the only time it really is failure is if you stop. Otherwise, if you keep going, even if you have to pivot, you know, as long as you keep going, it's not, it's, you know, there are mistakes, there are lessons, there are things like that, but it's, it's not failure as long as you keep going. And there are things that, you know, we have to stop and that can, you know, in that sense, not be failure too to put them down. Um, because there are things that are, you know, there are loads that we have to release in order to keep going sometimes. And so sometimes that means setting things down but you know, it's it's stopping on the path of life in that sense. You know, as long as you keep going, you're yeah. you're on you're on your way. <laughs> well, I'm I'm traveling down the path of of keeping going <laughs> with all of the other humans and and beings of this world who will continue on. I appreciate you, Annie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for being the witch's meal today. This, we do this every month, y'all. And so you have an opportunity to come on here. I'll read your wheel and I'll do my best to get you a sample of whatever oil that you have won. And thank you, Annie. Thank you, everyone. And I appreciate you all. Come to our full moon and new moon gatherings, community events where anyone can join uh, of benevolent nature. So thank you all. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next time.